guys, it's Dr. Bickling from Own It Dental. Here's my contact information if you need to get a hold of me. And as always, if you guys are enjoying these videos, please do hit that like button right down below. Uh, it gives me a little boost of self-esteem. I want to send a special shout out to the two of you out there that always always do hit that thumbs up button. So thanks, I got, thanks a lot. I appreciate it. Um, all right, let's dig into it. So today we're going to talk about how to manage your associate dentists. Um, I've already done a video on how to train your associates, and, and I'll, I'll put a link to that video up here somewhere. Um, but once they're uh, already trained and they're on board, how do you manage them? And that's what we're going to talk about in today's uh, video. So let's dig into it. All right. All right, so today we're gonna to talk about how to manage your associate dentists. Um, as many of you know, I've been the boss of dozens of associate dentists over, over the years, probably over 100 in total. Um, and I've run into every problem there is. Uh, so I have some of the most experience in, in training and managing uh, associate dentists of, of pretty much uh, most people in the entire world. So uh, <laughs> lots of experience here. Um, and one of the things that I can tell you, um, the, the main thing is if, if you want to manage your dentists, Plain and simply, you can't. <laughs> there you go, ladies and gentlemen. Thanks again for joining me. Hit that like button on the way out, and I'll see you on the next video. No, I'm just kidding. Um, no, but you can't. You know, I've, I've also done another video on how to, you know, manage people. Don't manage people, manage systems. And, and I'll, I'll post a link to that video up here as well. But, like, if you think managing your staff is difficult, managing associates is, is like managing your staff on ego steroids, right? You know, because they have, they have a degree, and they're, they're the, each of them are the smartest person in the room. And, I mean, I've had, I've had kids coming right out of school argue with me, you know, their first day or first week, uh, you know, on the job. So, you know, if you think that you can manage your associates uh, or even micromanage them, you can't. Um, you're just either going to burn yourself out, frustrate yourself, or they're going to end up quitting and they're going to leave anyway. So, you know, when it comes to managing associates, it's really not that different than uh, managing your staff. You know, like I said, I said managing your staff, it's it's like herding cats. They're just, they're going to do their own thing anyway, right? You know, when you're not looking, they're just going to do whatever they want to do. And, and dentists are like that, except for on steroids. So um, when it comes to managing doctors, just don't. Don't try to manage doctors. Instead of trying to manage the doctors, manage systems. Um, and again, go back to that video that I uh, just posted if you want to learn more about that. Um, so what I've realized is that the doctors are going to do whatever they're going to do, no matter what I say. However, if I have systems in place that allow me to measure certain behaviors or, or certain goals and expectations that I find are important, then I'm gonna make sure that those are met and how they find them or get to those goals is really up to them. Um, you know, so long as it's moral, legal, ethical, and all that stuff. So let's, let's dig into it a little bit. So one of the most you enjoyed this video and wanna see the rest of it, as well as other content like it, go to ownitdental.com or click the link right here. I've got dozens of hours of training videos and I've even negotiated reduced lab fees for all my clients. So if you're ready to get out of the dental chair and start owning your dental business, go to ownitdental.com and I'll see you soon.